Hello there. Five Minute Crafts needs to be stopped. Now, a little bit ago, I had the thought that we hadn't checked in with our friends at Five Minute Crafts in a while. In fact, I think it's been close to a year at this point. So I did a little bit of, of perusing on what had been going on in the coffee section of Five Minute Crafts, and I found some new videos that I think need some addressing. <laughs> Thankfully, there seemed to be a very general theme about these. Most of the more recent coffee videos have been about how to reuse coffee grounds and or avoid coffee ground waste. A good topic overall, <laughs> very good topic. And one I wanted to talk about anyway. So within that category today, I have several videos that we need to test. I'm very organized today. I have everything prepped off to the side. I even have a written agenda. So let's just get started. I'm taking a look at video number one. We have Mr. All Black Uniform, which is uh, very lovely, very much approved, but unfortunately his pants have lost a lot of color. So into the washer they go, a cup of coffee, and then in theory, after a cycle, they are renewed back to their original darkness, and then he gets to match his shirt. I just have to say, <laughs> looking at this, my suspicions are very high that those aren't even remotely the same pair of pants, but I think we should give this a little try now. I was cautioned both by the internet and by <laughs> my husband that perhaps we should not put coffee into the washing machine that we rent from. Okay, we don't, we rent, there's a, <laughs> No landlord washing machine. We're off to a really good start today. We have a washing machine. If I damage that washing machine, <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble. So I have created something arguably way worse, and that is a coffee sink. <laughs> We've created something. This abomination right here is going to act is our washing machine in lieu of actually using a washing machine. I additionally have some pants here. These are well-worn pants of mine that have noticeably lost a lot of their darkness. So I would love for them to be refreshed. We're just gonna stick them in there for a while. We're gonna marinate right now. It is very hot. So I think we're gonna somewhat replicate a washing machine environment and we will come back to it at the very end of this video. Also, just so everyone does get a very good look, this is the color of the pants compared to my very dark shirt. Into coffee sink they go. I'm just kinda submerge. <laughs> this, is, this looks very, very wrong at the moment. Dare I sip from coffee sink, I think is the question right now. The answer is no, I do not dare. That is fully submerged throughout the rest of this video. We will give it some agitation <laughs> throughout the process. And then at the very end, we'll be able to see if we have significant darkening. While a uh, coffee sink is happening right now, we're gonna move right along. Our next video has to do specifically with deodorizing. So bad smell in the fridge, you get some coffee beans, you grind them up. And then what they are doing is they are apparently using like a little tea infuser, scooping the coffee beans in and then somehow they were hanging it in their fridge to eliminate bad smell. Now, this is totally a thing. Coffee can act as a natural deodorizer to an extent. It is not a perfect like end all be all for getting rid of odors, but it is a good like short term solution <laughs> while you wait to find time to actually clean out your fridge. So we just got back from a trip. I have some cherries in the fridge that I happen to know need to be tossed out at some point. They don't smell great. Now I have a little open container of coffee grounds right here. Noticeably, these are dry. You'll want to make sure your coffee grounds are dry, whatever you're using. So if you have just used them to brew coffee, perhaps lay them out over a baking sheet, or you can also toss them in the oven very briefly to pull out all that moisture. But once you have dry coffee grounds, put them into a little container. I usually prefer like a mason jar or just a small bowl. They are ready to go into the fridge to be your natural deodorizer. This is a good hack if you don't have like baking soda or something on hand, which is also a deodorizer you can put in your fridge. Welcome to my fridge. <laughs> fridge, this is embarrassing. It feels very intimate to show you the inside of my fridge. I'm gonna set the coffee grounds right here, right between the pesto and the heavy cream, and we'll come back to smell the fridge at a later date. Now it's time for an agitation break. It's doing our best to simulate the wash cycle. Now, this next video is particularly pertaining to using coffee as a fertilizer and or a soil. They're adding their used coffee grounds directly to the plant, and uh, <laughs> very, very magically, this plant seems to fully rejuvenate instantly. Now, while you might not see instant rejuvenation, you absolutely can use coffee grounds in your garden. In fact, it's a really, really awesome and easy way to utilize coffee grounds. You could, however, take it a little bit to the next level. And to do that, let's cut to it. I wanna give a huge thank you to Lomi for sponsoring today's video. Lomi is a kitchen appliance that can reduce your garbage by nearly 50% by turning your food waste, scraps, and Lomi 
microbe approved materials into nutrient rich dirt that you can use in your garden or plants. The process itself is incredibly simple and intuitive. All you have to do is fill your loamy with organic waste that would otherwise get tossed and then start one of its three cycles. The decomposing cycle can be done in as little as three hours and it's quiet, meaning you won't even notice it's happening. Additionally, loamy is odorless and blends in with your kitchen to create a seamless fit with your daily routine. I found it to be an incredibly easy way to reduce the amount of waste I create when cooking, along with a fun way to repurpose my coffee grounds, which is something I'm always looking for with how much coffee I brew between my personal consumption and in videos. So if you're ready to make your life easier with Lomi for the first time since launching, you can purchase a Lomi now without waiting. Head down to the link below and you'll get $100 off your order. That's the link in the description for $100 off. And thank you again to Lomi for sponsoring today's video. Now that you have made some very, very nutritious dirt, it's time to move on to our next hack. This next one, he's drinking his coffee and then scratches on the table, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just hang on. Okay, let's let's watch that again. All right. He has a cup of coffee next to him and then <laughs> In fact, it is not a cup of coffee. It is just grounds in his cup of coffee. But I like the fact that they very clearly show him uh, drinking that coffee beforehand. So in lieu of authenticity, I have created my own cup of ground coffee. The idea is that he puts some of the ground coffee on the wood tabletop. It then acts as kind of a, a filler to the grooves that were scratched into it. And so then when he wipes it away, those grooves have magically and completely disappeared. Now, it appears that I have at least somewhat similar of wood color, so see how this goes. This definitely wasn't fixed in post-production and or editing tricks. So you know what? We're just trying. Cup of ground coffee, scratched up wood surface, I might add, and a paper towel. Seems to be the only things we need. I keep watching this and I'm so amazed at how perfectly the coffee seems to just fill the gaps on that wood surface. Almost too perfectly, one might say. Maybe the secret is in the sip, so. It's not great. It's a bit grainy in the mouth. There's literally, eh. Now what he does is he grabs, grabs his coffee grounds. I'm gonna try to get as much water out of there as possible. Kind of just sets it on top of his scratches. In this case, we have several, so maybe we'll go back for a little second pass here. He seems to just wipe them away instantly. I might need more paper towels. <laughs> All right, now scratches before, maybe. Well, here, hang on. Maybe if I rub it into the, we could be here for hours. Maybe we will be. Well, in our case here, the scratches still do exist. I would argue in fact that they might even be a bit more prominent. I don't hate the scratches, I'll be totally honest. Like, at least on this board, they like, they add a little, I'm looking at Graham right now, they add. They're a little more wood colored. This is a good point. They are slightly more wood colored now, which is exciting. Nowhere near what the video shows, but I'm not mad at this. <laughs> I'm just completely befuddled. <laughs> it's time for an agitation break. All right, our coffee pants have finished their, their cycle, so we're gonna go get these drawings so they're ready to look at by the end of this next hack. This next, and in fact, our final hack, has a lot less to do about coffee grounds than it does coffee filters. Let's roll the video. All right, brewed coffee, filter, okay. There was no coffee in that filter. <laughs> Let us be very, very clear. And now with your uh, finished wine bottle, you are just gonna start adhering uh, completely recklessly and willy-nilly um, your ripped up coffee filter <laughs> to it. Um, fully coating each and every surface. And then at the end, you have a decoration, question mark. I'm uh, both fascinated and horrified by this decoration. There doesn't seem to be any indication that it's like a Halloween theme. Like it kind of seems like it could be Halloween, like kind of spooky themed, but no, it is just simply something that you can place on your counter. I would like one myself. So uh, I have some coffee filters. Let's see if we can create this monstrosity. Upon initial, initial looking, it did look like they were using used coffee filters. However, if you'll notice in that first clip, there was not any coffee <laughs> actually in that filter that they were pouring water into. It seems like there was at one point, but no longer. And then looking forward towards what they actually put on the bottle, those were just unbleached coffee filters. Like there was no coffee grounds in them, nothing. So today I think we're just gonna use your standard coffee filter. The ones I have here are bleached. So they are white rather than a brown color, but fear not, they will work just the same. And please ignore my very sloppy job at attempting to take a label off of this bottle. Way harder than it appears. 
we're starting this hack out with just making some very, very general loose shapes with the filters. For anyone curious, I'm using V60 filters. <laughs> Just kind of go until you feel like you have enough to cover your uh, your average wine bottle size. Feel like this is a good start? Just begin applying with your glue of choice. Just uh, start building some layers. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could like you could put flowers in something like this. Once more, as with all of these hacks, I'm not particularly sure what I'm doing, but I am kind of vaguely enjoying myself. We, uh, of course, can't neglect the neck of the bottle. I think I'm gonna send this, this very cursed creation to Lance. He can outfit his new studio in Portugal with this, I think. This seems like the right shape for like an upper piece here. I also wonder at what point does this become just arts and crafts <laughs> rather than a coffee hack? Maybe the goal is to just make something that looks like it's been pulled out of a crypt. Because if so, give this a little bit of dunking and some coffee to like darken these filters and, and I think we'll have it. Do you like it? <laughs> Hello judges. Today I'll be serving you out of this. All right, well, it's horrifying and terrible and I kind of love it all the same. I think for now, perhaps we will place it on the shelf of coffee awards. <laughs> I think we're just gonna, just gonna leave this here for the time being, let it live next to the rest of the grates. Okay, we near the end of this video and as promised, I now have some pants for you to look at. And if I'm being totally honest, <laughs> I might have to eat my words on this a little bit. Here are our pants, uh, post coffee wash and post drying. And uh, I think we can all see pretty clearly that they are significantly darker than when they originally went in. Previous to all of this, they were definitely much more of like a, a gray sort of color. And while these aren't like a, like a pitch black, like it seemed to be in the video, something happened, something is working. Now natural coffee dye has been like a thing and been around for quite a while. However, using it in like already very dark materials, I was a little bit skeptical about. Seemingly, it works though. I will have to report back to you on how long it lasts. Like I'm very curious if I throw these in the washer now with regular soap and just run them in a normal load, will the coffee stain come out? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out later. This has been a video of sorts. <laughs> I hope you have gleaned some morsel of information throughout the process of this, but uh, I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna go perhaps figure out how to more aesthetically design that weird wine shaped coffee filter bottle that I have previously created because I'm looking at it right now and not loving <laughs> where it is on my shelf. Anyways, I'm Morgan Drinks Coffee pretty much everywhere you will find me online. I'm here on YouTube once a week plus shorts. Additionally, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok almost every single day. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.